What's up guys? This is Mark Kevin Baltimore from Quick Material Project. So in this tutorial, we'll teach you how to get started with core animations. So uh, core animations material design is very important. So we have prepared uh, uh, what 40 uh, transitions available in our website. So first, uh, we will discuss how to use the material animator class uh, and how to what it is to make it more dynamic. For example, if you want to use how uh, infinite animation and we prepare also a callback function in order for you to easily handle uh, dual animations so uh, okay so let's enjoy and uh, keep watching okay so uh, let's start animation with uh, this tutorial so we will teach you how to create um, a simple animation on GMD so that your user will uh, feel more uh, happy about your application okay so first thing is uh, we have a basic uh, transitions I think we have 40 transitions all in all that you can pick up so uh, for example we have a zoom in down roll out and the best thing about it is this one so it's the bounce effect the shake effect and also the swing so uh, those are the what you is the animations that we've uh, shared to you guys and also we, we will discuss later on the infinite animation and the callback so let's get started okay so now I am on the previous tutorial which is the tutorial number three so uh, now we are on tutorial number four so uh, it's all about animation so let's get start coding okay so here I just check out the project uh, from the github repo so it's the previous uh, uh, what you call this, the code examples that I've shared and now we will add a material button in order to animate the card itself or the material title so what we can do there is maybe we can just add uh, btn animate here and what we can do is add animation animate something and then what we need to do also is add this one so material, uh, I'm gonna call this the card bar, and maybe we can just add display block. Okay, so now we can just declare it here at UI field material button BTN animate. Okay, and the other one is material field material title, which is card. Then what's next? What we can do? So for me, I just want the Java way on how adding a what you call this a click handler. So if you want, you can add a UI binder way like a annotated bin at UI handler. Depends to you. For me, I will use a add click handler. And then what will be the best thing about it? So this is on how you implement animation. It's called the material animation class. Okay then what you can do here is uh, set everything you want for example first is you just need to set the transition you want so for me I want a jello effect and then what's next is okay so transition uh, no sorry so we can just say uh, how many milliseconds do you want for me I used uh, 2000 milliseconds for the duration you can set also the delay in millis so for example, we can call it uh, delay in millis about, uh, maybe we can say uh, uh, zero for now. So later we will change that dynamically so that you will know how it works. Then what's next, maybe it's the final one, is to call the animate method. And you just need the target widget or the target element, so which is the card. Okay, so let's see how it goes. Okay now, so I have here the animate button, as you can see here, and then if I, maybe we can just insert it inside the card, so that it will not, it will be easy to navigate. Okay, so I have here now, so this thing, if I animate it, so you will see that it will be jello.
Okay, to set the delay, we can just change it here. Just put what a one second delay. So that's equivalent to 1000 milliseconds. You can just refresh the page and see if it will be applied. Okay, so let's count. One. Okay, so that's it. So there's a one delay second. Okay, so what's next is we want it to have an infinite animation. So in order to do that, let's go direct on the Java class and it's easy to configure. You can just call infinite true and then maybe we can just adjust a little bit about the terrain minus and we can just make it uh, about bounce. And then if we just uh, refresh the page. Okay, and then click the animate so you will see that uh, the card is animating infinitely okay now what if you want to have a callback after the animation is finished so what you can do so you can just add a runnable here so you can just call it material toast uh, fire toast uh, it's finished also take note that on 1.6 below we use runnable but later on on the 2.0 uh, version of G with material should have a function as a parameter here it's runnable so but for now we are using 1.6 so it's okay to use runnable and also you need to remove the infinite so that you will have a finish callback and then that's it so for two seconds the toast will be uh, what about this will be shown so if you refresh the page and animate it okay so it's done so how about you want a double uh, animation so in order to do a dual animation so for example if you animate on something then on the callback you set our animation so that's how we can uh, come up with a theory so what we can do here so we will need to call again uh, animation so maybe we can call another new animation so after the callback so new animation then what we can do is just copy all of this and then what we can do here is to adjust some, somewhat uh, like that so if you want jello so that's it so animate the part okay so let's refresh okay so if i animate it so there will be a dual animation okay so that's it Okay, thank you very much for watching this fourth video tutorial of GMD. So, uh, in the next series, maybe we will uh, learn more about the meaningful animations, which is very uh, advanced animations for GMD widgets. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And then, uh, just comment below if you want to have a specific uh, tutorial that I can share with you or help with you with. So uh, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video.